Eponema is what we call our application aware uh, software defined WAN solution and we call it that because uh, we think it's really unique in its ability to understand how applications work and with that knowledge we're able to control application flows so that from the enterprise's perspective if they have critical business applications uh, that need to have a specific and minimal uh, user experience so that either employees or if it's customer facing customers can use that application and get the experience that they want to be productive and to power their business. Now, unlike other solutions, what we do is pretty unique because we're able to look at each individual application session. Uh, and what that means is that every time any user uh, uses one of these applications, we're able to process that application, give it the optimized performance it needs across any network that's uh, at that enterprise branch location independently from one user to the next. So when the next user uh, comes on to use that application, their performance is controlled independently of the previous user and they won't interfere with each other so that each user gets the best possible experience. We're always monitoring what's happening on the underlying network. So we're measuring uh, metrics such as how much the round trip delay there may be in the network, how much jitter there may be, uh, a number of other characteristics. And then we also look at how each individual application uh, processes each of its own transactions. And we define some rules in the system. Uh, and those rules are defined by the enterprise as to what the performance level should be. And based on the conditions, we actually calculate what we call an application quality score. And the quality score tells us if we need to do any special processing for that application to either enhance its performance or if it's uh, one of the lower priority applications that the enterprise defines, we might in fact uh, slow down the performance a little bit to make room for the higher priority applications that need all of the extra performance. So we take all of those characteristics together and that's what tells us how to apply all of our processing techniques in the system. So the in interesting thing uh, with software-defined WANs, uh, particularly for banks and financial institutions, is that it allows us to look at the applications running on the network independently from the network itself. Uh, and really what that translates into is we see most banks and financial uh, services institutions deploy multiple networks to all other branch locations. Now they, they do that and create this hybrid configuration really with the goal of optimizing by application what the best network path is. With an SD-WAN solution like Ipanema, we're able to look at each individual application, as I said before, we do it by uh, user session, and we look at what's the best network path uh, that can be used to get the best performance for that application. So in, in this case, that's what uh, that coupled with our ability to control through prioritization, other quality of service capabilities, we're really able to help uh, an organization really uh, get the most efficient use out of their network, maximize the available capacity. Uh, in, in turn, that means that they typically can avoid costly network upgrades and defer those to later after the traffic has grown to a certain point where they've added more users. But because they get that extra efficiency, now they're really able to turn their network into an asset that helps power their business versus just being a cost that's required to run their business. We really feel that the network is what drives digital transformation for banks and, and financials. And as a result of that, uh, what we find is that banks are able to really uh, enhance all of that transformation and roll out new applications. Uh, we especially see migration to the cloud, uh, cloud-based applications like Office 365. We also see a lot of unified communications. These are applications like Skype for Business. And in fact, uh, as an example, uh, we've had uh, many bank customers who have tried to deploy those applications on an existing network, and they typically will hit a ceiling. They may get to, let's say, a thousand users on there, and then the performance doesn't keep up with what the user expectations are. But once they add our Ipanema system, then they're able to quickly migrate from that 1,000 user level up to 10,000 users or more. We've had uh, one example bank customer in Belgium who took six months to get uh, the first 1,000 users onto the system before deploying Ipanema. Once they added Ipanema into their network, it only took them 90 days to get the remaining 10,000 employees online. Uh, so dramatic differences uh, that, that we see just by deploying this technology. So one of the interesting things that we find uh, when organizations have put Ipanema in is because of the ability for the network to now really enhance uh, all of their business critical applications. In the case of banks and financial institutions, there could be trading applications that have a strong requirement for real-time data. 
in a normal network where the real-time data is delayed anyway, that could actually cost real transaction and cost real uh, sales uh, to, to just disappear from those delays. With our system in place, what we find is that organizations are able to point to a benefit by avoiding any poor performance in applications and directly connect that to new revenue sources that are driving their business and helping them grow. Uh, so we think that's really one of the most powerful reasons for why organizations deploy Eponema. It really does allow them to add new revenue sources and it allows them to truly enable growth in the existing revenue sources they have by avoiding and preventing poor performance on their network. Last year, uh, one of the great things that we did is we launched a new partner program. You know, we've really recognized that uh, the SD-WAN market is just experiencing tremendous growth because of organizations that are migrating to the cloud, deploying these unified communications uh, applications. There's a strong need for uh, resellers, systems integrators, communication service providers, and other managed service providers to help enterprises with all of these deployments. So we've created uh, a new partner program that's really focused on the partner and it's very partner centric. We've enabled it with sales incentives, uh, deal registration, uh, sales and marketing collateral, uh, and other tools that we've uh, placed on a brand new partner portal that would allow new partners that come into our program to be up and running quickly and, and be able to service uh, enterprises in the way that uh, they're used to, but with an increasingly stronger margin uh, to really drive their business. Uh, one of the things that we're really happy with uh, in the partner program uh, is how we've been able to manage uh, introducing these new components uh, in, into the portal. Uh, so we're really excited to bring on new partners and watch them grow with them. The good news it, for new partners is that a lot, when we introduced the partner program, we also launched a cloud-based version of Eponema that we call Eponema Go. Mm -hmm. And for new partners, the benefit is that you don't really need any upfront investment mm -hmm. in equipment or hardware to get your first customer online. Uh, so it's a really great uh, new service that we've put out there uh, for new channel partners. In fact, even some of our existing partners are looking at it because it makes the process of getting a new customer on board so much faster uh, by leveraging the cloud. For existing partners, uh, you'll you get access to into the new partner program and the new portal. Uh, for new partners, uh, one of the things that we're really pr proud of doing in order to help avoid channel conflict, as we see with other partner programs, uh, technology companies that are willing to just sign on anybody who comes across and wants to become a partner. And while that's great, we really want to work with our partners to make sure that we're helping them grow their business. So to do that, we're being careful about making sure that on a regional basis, we don't have too many partners that are going to compete with themselves mm -hmm. for the same customers. We want to work with those partners to make sure they're going to get market share in the regions that they support. Mm -hmm. uh, so that may mean that sometimes we uh, don't accept necessarily every partner that comes across, but we really look at that carefully with the potential partner to see where the best fit is uh, in the program globally.